We're excited about uh, this morning, beautiful tefillah, and we're approaching, uh, getting closer to Purim. Uh, here from the Shulchan Aruch and Kaf HaChem, we can distinguish the sensitivity, the greatness, the blessing, and uh, the uh, the highlight that Chachamim, uh, our, our sages Chazal, have uh, devoted to the holiday of Purim. There's a question, what comes first? Um, is it the mitzvah of Megillah? Or other mitzvot, maybe that even um, we would assume them to be greater. For example, um, a circumcision of a child that is only on the eighth day, and that eighth day happens to fall on Purim. And there could be a case where the doctors, uh, maybe the child wasn't feeling well, and towards uh, maybe really towards the end of the day, they tell you, okay, we just had an examination, you can have the Brit Milah. You didn't hear the Megillayat. And you only have very little time to put yourself together, get a mohel, and and perform the, the, the circumcision. Which comes first, the Megillah, having it being the mitzvah of the day, or the brit milah that is very specific to being on the eighth day, and this is now the time for you to do it. You don't have much time, either this or that, which one comes first. So the uh, really the halakha is, you have to go with the brit milah, it comes first. Why? Because it's Doraita. Doraita, it comes before Mitzvah de Rabbanan. However, let's not uh, allude ourselves that this means that the reading of the Megillah is not so important. Why? You have Puskim, uh, that uh, amongst them the Tumat Adeshin, that says, you know what? Forget about the Brit Milah. That we can do tomorrow. What's going to happen if I circumcise my son one day later? Okay, it's not the best, but hey, don't worry about it. It'll, it'll, it'll get done. But tomorrow, can I do the reading of the Megillah? No. The reading of the Megillah can only be performed today, and I can't miss it. So why don't we wait with the baby? We'll do the Megillah today, and, uh, and, and we can do the Brit Milah later on. We don't hold like this rabbi, practically speaking. Practically speaking, we revert to having the circumcision on the proper day, even if it means we're going to miss the reading of the Megillah, and that's fine. But what does this highlight? That our Chachamim took it to such a degree that, that they would even consider that. That it's even a debate, it's even a conversation. But this also comes to allude that what, what happens if a person wakes up late, maybe they had a big Purim party at Ezra B'Tzaot till the late hours uh, of the early hours of the morning, they wake up late for Shachrit and they're rolling into the Bet Knesset, they see that the end, the last time to pray Shachrit is 9.30 a.m., Everyone's already finished with Shachrit and now they're about to begin the Megillah. What do I do? Do I do Shachrit and not, you know, so I can comply with the right time of saying Shachrit or do I hear Megillah? Says the Kafa Chaim based on other authorities. Say, say the Shema, just the one liner or the first paragraph quickly. Wait with Shachrit, hear Megillah. Even if it means you're going to miss the time of Shachrit. And the same applies for Mincha. Let's say during the day you didn't make Megillah, whatever reason. Either you can do Mincha. In the time or Megillah. You can't do both. Brings the Kafa Chaim that we should, uh, in, in the name of the Nahar Shalom, that we should read the Megillah, even if it means that you're going to miss the prayer of Mincha and it's gone out the window, you still hear the Megillah. Now, this question is of having the. Huh? You repeat it twice, but you did essentially miss it, but still, just to highlight the essence of the Megillah. And uh, he brings over here the Shara Kavanot. That really the Megillah is meant to bring out bracha that is waiting for us on that day. It really comes out and it draws the blessing, a potential window of blessing that exists, particularly on the day of Purim. Purim and when, the, when are we able to extract or to bring or to harness that blessing, to anchor it, when we hear in the time of the Megillah specifically, there are a lot of special things that happen spiritually, so we should all make an effort. As the Kafa Chaim says, we should bring our families, our children, our, the wives should bring their husband, the husband bring the wives over to be able to hear the Megillah of Ahmad Rat Melech as many uh, as many people as possible in the Bet Knesset for this great mitzvah, Shavuot Tov, and Baruch Adonai Amen, Amen.